the absolute largest engine for the internet in the entire Asia-Pacific region outside of China is not a sleek skyscraper or a massive factory. It is a seven-story concrete fortress known as Air Trunk SYD3. Right now, this technical marvel in Western Sydney is engineered to deliver an astonishing capacity of over 400 megawatts of computing power. This single campus demands enough electrical energy to run roughly 275,000 average homes simultaneously. The 122,546 square meter structure is locked down by a dual dedicated power line carrying 132 kilovolts of high tension electricity. But the real sign of the drama happens when the main power fails. Engineers installed a minimum of 30 enormous diesel fuel tanks, a non-negotiable safeguard to prevent an instantaneous global digital blackout. They were forced to design and deliver this colossal engine in only about 12 months. How did they achieve this impossible speed? And what high-stakes challenges emerge the moment its critical 132 kilovolt power connection is lost? We have to ask, why the rush? Why build a digital megacity demanding so much energy so fast? The answer lies in the foundation of the digital world. The demand for cloud computing power, which controls everything from streaming to AI, is exploding exponentially, creating an urgent need for massive facilities called hyperscale data centers. The company Airtrunk was founded in Australia in 2015, specifically to build these digital factories bigger, faster, and more efficiently than anyone else in the Asia-Pacific region. After launching their flagship SYD-1 campus in 2017, that facility quickly approached full capacity, confirming the urgent market demand. This pressing need led to the plan for Air Trunk SYD-3, located nearby, which was designed to essentially double their capacity. SYD-3 quickly became the largest single data center campus in the entire region, outside of China, cementing Sydney's position as a crucial hub for global digital traffic. This scale required an unprecedented building schedule, to understand how speed was achieved, we must step out of history and into the cold, hard world of engineering. Let's leave the timeline behind and enter the physical structure. The shell that holds over 400 megawatts of pure raw power. The first engineering challenge was fitting a colossal scale onto a tight urban footprint. Air Trunk SYD3 is set on a site covering 8.3 hectares an area roughly the size of 16 international soccer pitches. Because land in Western Sydney is limited, the designers had to choose a radical approach, building up. SYD3 is a massive seven-story structure with a staggering total floor area spanning 122,546 square meters. Within that huge space, 70,000 square meters is dedicated purely to technical data halls. This vertical design created fundamental structural problems. A single, fully loaded server rack can weigh more than 1,000 kilograms, the weight of a small family car. Now multiply that crushing weight by the tens of thousands of racks stacked across seven floors. The engineers had to design the entire concrete and steel structure to handle this extreme sustained density on every single level. The floors must also contain complex voids for cabling massive power busways and coolant piping that must travel vertically through the structure. Demanding robust structural integrity, the structure is secure, but the next major challenge was feeding the monster's insatiable hunger for energy. Air Trunk SYD3 is a 400 megawatt monster, demanding energy comparable to a medium-sized city. To manage this colossal hunger, the facility bypasses the normal neighborhood grid and demand specialized, dedicated infrastructure. The power comes directly from high-tension transmission lines via a 132 kilovolt diverse high-voltage feed. This is the superhighway of electricity, hundreds of times more powerful than home voltage. To manage this, the project includes dual electrical substations located right on the 8.3 hectare site, essentially private utility plants. Their job is to receive the raw 132 kilovolt power and safely step it down. The use of a dual system is critical for resilience. If one high voltage connection is cut, the other diverse power feed must take over instantaneously. This massive investment in getting two separate high voltage feeds and building two dedicated substations 
acts as a major barrier to entry, ensuring that only the largest operators can compete in this intense hyperscale market. But even with the best grid connections, a total city blackout is the ultimate test. For the global technology companies that run their most important services inside SYD3, any downtime is unacceptable. They are contracted for 100% availability and zero downtime. The system must be guaranteed to never fail, even during a widespread total blackout. The critical secret to preventing any break in power is the uninterruptible power supply, or UPS. These multi-megawatt battery banks activate in milliseconds, faster than a light flicker, to keep the servers running smoothly for the critical seconds it takes for the massive diesel engine backup generators to start up. The true long-term defense comes from the 30 dedicated diesel fuel tanks. This impressive number is the most visible sign of extreme disaster planning, implying a monumental fuel reserve. Most industrial diesel generators can run for 24 to 72 hours on a full tank, depending on the load. With 30 tanks, air trunk is prepared for major, multi-day catastrophes. If the outage extends, the team faces a logistical nightmare. Organizing non-stop delivery of fuel tankers to replenish all 30 tanks, while the 400 megawatt facility is running entirely on emergency power. Power is secured, but the instant you switch those servers on, a new relentless enemy emerges, heat. Every server generates heat, and that heat must be removed efficiently. When you pack 400 megawatts of raw computing into one campus, you are essentially building the world's largest digital heater. The key measure of success is the power usage effectiveness, or PUE. A perfect impossible score is 1.0. Airtrunk SYD3 is designed to achieve a world-class PUE of 1.15. This means that for every 100 watts used by the actual computers, only 15 watts is spent on cooling, lighting, and other support systems. To achieve this, Airtrunk relies on advanced methods like indirect evaporative cooling, or IEC, which uses outside air and precise water evaporation to cool the facility passively whenever possible. This smart design is highly water efficient, using approximately 80% less water than older traditional data centers. Furthermore, engineers must look ahead to the rise of artificial intelligence, which requires servers that run far hotter. SYD3 had to be engineered from day one to support future liquid cooling technology, where coolant is pumped directly over the processing chips. This built-in flexibility ensures the facility is AI ready for the next decade. Designing this fortress is hard enough, but doing it in only 12 months is the ultimate engineering triumph. The construction timeline was driven entirely by urgent market demand for quick deployment the New South Wales government recognised the economic value and fast-tracked planning approvals by temporarily designating data centres as State Significant Developments, or SSDS. This political support immediately cut months off the regulatory timeline. The core engineering secret to achieving such unprecedented speed is prefabrication and modular construction. Instead of building complex power units and cooling systems on-site, these components are assembled simultaneously in quality-controlled factories far away. These factory-built modules are then trucked to the 8.3-hectare site and lifted into place by massive cranes, much like assembling colossal, sophisticated Lego bricks. Furthermore, SYD3 was planned for nine separate phases of construction. This phase deployment allowed the first section of the campus to be finished and energized quickly generating revenue while the remaining construction was still underway. The Airtrunk SYD3 project represents a new multi-billion dollar investment into the state of New South Wales. This injection of capital created hundreds of new specialized jobs during construction and ongoing operation. Despite the obvious demand, data centers sometimes face public criticism for their consumption. However, industry reports provide a crucial counterpoint. Data centers collectively consume just 2% of Australia's total energy, similar to large shopping centers, and less than 0.1% of the nation's total water. This enormous demand is forcing the electrical grid to modernize, with operators projected to invest over $7 billion in grid infrastructure upgrades by 2030. SYD3 is an accelerator, 
forcing grid modernization to keep pace with the urgent digital demand. Airtrunk SYD3 is more than concrete and steel. It's the physical manifestation of our digital future. It is a seven-story fortress engineered for zero downtime, demanding 400 megawatts of stable power and built with impossible speed. This technological marvel is keeping the essential services of the internet running in Western Sydney. If you found the sheer technical details of this mega build shocking and fascinating, please hit that like button right now. Subscribe to the Ultimate Mega Builds channel for more stories of engineering at the absolute limit and turn on notifications so you don't miss our next massive project reveal.